everyone, welcome back to the AAEN Fabrication Shop. Today we're going to be working on the fins. We're going to be cutting them out and gluing them together, sanding them down. We've got all the parts on our workbench that we're going to need for this episode. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So here we have our balsa wood on a cutting mat. You can see the fins laid out, and as we noted earlier, sometimes the laser cutting goes all the way through and cuts the part out for us. But most of the parts are still going to be attached to the wood, very much like our centering rings. And you can see the small little nubs that hold the wood pieces in place. So much like we did with our centering rings, we'll simply take our knife and cut these through and have them remove them gently from the wood. And again, as you can see, there's not much holding these pins in place, especially in those areas where it's going with the grain. Here it's going against the grain, so it takes a little more and so here we have all of our fin pieces cut out and we're ready to move on to the next step the next step in our process is we want to make sure all four fins are the same size. So what we'll do is we'll take these fins and line them up and we want to start with the root edge. Okay, This is going to be the edge that goes against the body tube. We want that to be flat. We stack them and then on a flat piece of sandpaper, this is 220 grit, so this is more than plenty. It'll take off plenty of wood, but at the same time it won't just gouge it to death. So we line them up and we're going to sand our fins. We want to keep them perpendicular to the sandpaper. As you can see now, we've got all four fins are exactly the same on that edge. Continuing to hold them together, move around to the next edge and do the exact same thing. So now we have all four fins that are identical. And our next step will be to do the same thing with the smaller dorsal fins. And we'll do those off camera. We have sanded down all four fins. We have good fits where the dorsal fin meets the main fin. So now it's time to actually glue these fins together. Before we start gluing, we're going to go ahead and lay down a piece of wax paper. This way, should any of the glue seep through and get onto our work surface, it'll get onto this wax paper instead of onto our good work surface. So we'll go ahead, we have each one of our fins laid out as a pair so that we know which ones go, which dorsal fins go to which fin. Go ahead and lay these out. Now we'll go ahead, add some glue to our little paper. We'll take put some glue on the dorsal fin. We 
we'll match it up and then pull it apart and we'll give it a few seconds you'll notice I just push these other fins out of the way because we're going to use our straight edge to make sure that the root edge of the fins stay lined up. Okay. Put it back together. Take our root edge and line the fin up against it. This keeps the root edge, the part of the fin that's going to attach to the body tube, keeps it together, keeps it in a straight line. Move on to our next fin. Same thing. Put a little bit of glue on the dorsal fin. Attach it to the main fin. Pull it apart. Give it a few seconds to tack up. Doesn't take very long. Push them back together and we line it up on our straight edge. And we'll go ahead and do the last two off camera. So as you can see, we've got all four of our fins glued together. We're going to go ahead and let those dry real good. Once they're dry, We'll reinforce the joints on the front and the back. Okay, our fins are now dry. And as you can see, they stick a little bit to the wax paper. But most of the time they just come off real easy. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to apply just a little bit of glue to the joints. First we'll do one side, we'll let it dry, and then we'll do the other side. And this just helps to strengthen the joint between the dorsal fin and the main fin. And it doesn't take much, as you can see we're not using an awful lot of glue here. But it does help, one, fill the gap, and as we said, the main reason is to strengthen the joint. So we'll let that dry. Once those joints dry, we'll flip them over, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, as you can see, we've gotten the glued joints reinforced on both sides of the fin, where the fin and the dorsal fin meet. And if you rub your finger along that, you'll find that it's a little rough, along with the rest of the fin. So what we want to do is we want to take care of that. We're going to do that with a sanding block. And basically, we're just going to sand the top of the fin. Sand the whole thing. Until it becomes nice and smooth. When you rub your finger on it, and the whole thing is nice and smooth, you're good to go and it doesn't take much okay we can check the bottom and make sure that everything is nice and smooth there so that way when we attach it to the model we won't have any gaps flip it over do the other side and again this is nothing but 220 grit sandpaper so we're not not using anything real heavy here Again, that feels nice and smooth. The joint looks good. So we'll go ahead and do this to the other three fins. Okay, so now we have all four fins sanded. They're sanded smooth. So the next thing we want to do is 
we want to go ahead and round the leading edges of our fins. So the leading edge is that edge which impacts the airstream. It's going into the airstream first as the rocket goes up into the air. And by rounding these off, it'll go through the air a lot smoother, be less turbulent, you'll get better performance out of your rocket. So with that, we're gonna take a little piece of sandpaper and we'll just go ahead and round these edges off. As you do this, you'll find that where the two pieces meet is going to probably be the hardest part to get rounded. And just take your time through there, keep working it back and forth. You also want to make sure, even though we've got the extra glue on the joint here, you want to make sure that you provide some kind of support because you are pushing against the wood here, okay? So again, take your time, come up with a nice joint, and once you get one done, move on to the next. As you can see, we've got our fins completed now. The leading edges have been sanded round. The fins themselves have been sanded smooth. Where the glue joints are, that has been sanded smooth and we've reinforced those glue joints. So our fins are now complete and they're ready to be installed on the rocket. So in our next episode, we'll actually start putting some of these sub-assemblies, the motor mount and the fins, we'll start attaching them to our rocket. So until next time, take care.